Hello everybody, thank you for clicking on today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Michaela. On Instagram, I'm referred to as Alberta Inspired Home, and I create videos all about lifestyle content, recipes, routines, just kind of helpful tips for the everyday life. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. So today's video is going to be a morning get ready with me video and I'm just going to kind of go through what I do in the morning um, and just kind of the products I use and yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay, so a habit that I've gotten into, especially within this past year, is cleaning my kitchen up every single night before I go to sleep. That doesn't involve like nighttime snacks, like if I have a late night snack or whatever, that's not a big deal to me. But any supper dishes or anything like that, I want that to be clean. And I want to wake up with a fresh mindset. I don't want to come into the kitchen and think about all that I have to do. Um, obviously, if we host people and they don't leave till like 11 p.m., of course, that's a different situation, but I just try to strive for this because I know I am so much less overwhelmed when I do this. So as you can see, my husband did make breakfast this morning. So I mean, the toaster is out and there are some dishes from some bedtime snacks and his breakfast, but that's not a huge deal to me. The only chore that I do leave for the morning is emptying the dishwasher. And I just figure, you know, it takes about like five minutes max and it's not a big deal and I like to just let it run throughout the night. So that is my kitchen routine, I guess you could say. Okay, so this morning, like most mornings, I am making scrambled eggs. And honestly guys, I wasn't even a big fan of scrambled eggs until I tried this recipe. And I started researching some really famous chefs, like Jordan Ramsay, and um, someone had a take on his recipe because his is very complicated and whatever else but the trick to making scrambled eggs is to add the ingredients when it's cold and i'm assuming so that it doesn't burn the eggs because i think that's why i wasn't liking scrambled eggs because it just tasted burnt and that it was cooked too much um so the hint is to put it all in while it's cold watch it like a hawk and then do not add salt and pepper until it is removed from the heat because if you add salt and pepper, it makes them gray. So I will show you what I do. It is such a simple recipe. Seriously, when I found this, I was like, this is the secret, really? Okay, so you're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Guestimation. Then you're gonna crack three eggs for one serving. We're going to turn it on to medium high heat. Now we're going to just mix up the egg yolks and we're going to keep it on this high heat until the butter is melted and then we're going to go ahead and put it down to medium low um, so that the eggs can cook but not to burn and that we can reduce that heat. So we're going to wait for the butter to melt and just in the meantime, like especially when it starts cooking, make sure you're scraping the bottoms because you do have to use a steel bowl to get these eggs off, even if you're careful. I've done it like every second and I still need to use a steel wool. So it's just, I think, inevitable. I don't know. So we're going to let that melt 
and then we're going to continue stirring. So yeah, it does get hot really quickly. So you're going to want to watch it because the butter melted in about two minutes max. <laughs> so now I'm just stirring it here and I have it on three. And we're just going to stir it until it is like, I don't know how to explain it other than saying so that it doesn't look slimy. Like it looks the consistency of scrambled eggs and it's kind of lost its shine. That's the only way I can really describe it. Okay, so this is when you know that it's done, it's lost its shine, they are cooked. So we're going to remove it from that heat and we're going to go add the salt and pepper. Okay, well this is where I'm gonna end it today, but thank you for taking along with me for my morning routine. I hope this encouraged you if you don't already have a morning routine to try to incorporate things that are gonna get you prepared for the day and ready for the day. So if you enjoyed this content, just make sure to subscribe and I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thanks for watching.